Do you honestly love your locks? Never comb them out. How often do you use for your locks? How often do you wash your locks? It's been made for me, patient is everything. In and out, in and out, in and out. Arguing, trifling, difficult. If y'all keep seeing me look down, it's because I'll be reading off my phone because I got a lot of questions from you guys. Like, when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Y'all came through with these questions, so. How long have you been growing your locks? I've been growing my locks for seven months, but on September 6th, I'll have my locks done for eight months. How did you just start it to star locks? So, there were so many reasons I just started to star locks, but I'm going to give y'all guys the main two reasons. The first reason is... Because when I was younger, I always wanted locks, but my mom would never let me get locks. She was like, why do you want locks for life? And when I was younger, I couldn't really decide what to do. My mama only had to decide, so I couldn't get locks. Also, my hair was so short. Like, I was so insecure about my hair, and I just wanted my hair to be longer, you know? Because, like, I want to be able to wear, like, a top notch, a slick back with my natural hair, and I was tired of wearing fake ponytails, so I was like... Let me get locks, because when my hair get long enough, I can, like, comb out my locks and do, like, top knot, slick ponytails, two braids, all that good stuff. Like, all these natural hairstyles that I want to do so bad. Like, I just want to do natural hairstyles. Do you honestly love your locks? I love my locks so much, but when I first started, I didn't like my locks because they were so short, and I was so insecure about them. But now, today, as of now, and forever, even if I comb them out, I love my locks so, so much so very much coming for a person that got braids in their hair but got locks i do love my locks so much but i just needed the first day of school hairstyle y'all know how it is do you ever comb them out i will comb them out after like maybe a year or two what products do you use for your locks so i use the jamaican uh, lock breeze i use any kind of shampoo and conditioner for right now but i'm currently trying to find the best shampoo and conditioner for my locks I also use natural hair growth oil. What color or colors you think about dyeing your locks? I think about dyeing my ends pink and red, but I'm beginning my locks dyed red very, very soon. How often do you wash your locks? I wash my locks like every time before I get a retwist, and I wash my locks when I take out braids, but I wash my locks like every two weeks or so because, yeah. Just when it's dirty, basically. Because a lot of people think that I do not wash my locks. And when people get mad, they be like, that's why you don't wash your hair. No, I do wash my hair. I just don't wash it as often as you do. Some of y'all be washing your hair every week. My hair doesn't require to be washed every week. If it was required to be washed every week, I would wash my hair every week. How often do you retwist? I used to retwist like every month. Now I retwist like every two months, every three months. Um, do you say locks, dreads, or dreadlocks? I either say dreads or locks. I do not say dreadlocks. I don't say dreadlocks because it's just doing the most saying dreadlocks. So I'll be like, well, I like my little dreads or I like my locks. But I say locks more than I say dreads. But dreadlocks, who says dreadlocks? Like, dreadlocks, boys say dreadlocks. I don't know. How do you undo your locks when you first got them done? So first of all, I'm about to show y'all a picture right here. It was a style with like crochet hair on the top of my locks and I didn't really like the style anymore. The style wasn't giving anymore. So I just took the buns down and two string twisted the rest of my hair all over. And then people started thought I took out my locks. I didn't take out my locks. I took out the style. Do you add hair to your locks or not? Personally me, I didn't add no hair to my locks. I want my locks to grow like natural. I don't want to add hair to it, no fake hair. I want y'all to see like, oh dang, her hair was that short and I was this long. Like all I want to see is progress with my locks. So that's why I didn't add a fake hair in there. Because if I add a fake hair in there, my locks would not be like, where my locks stop? Like right here, my hair wouldn't stop right here. It will be longer than these braids if I added fake locks in. How do you maintain your locks at night? So at night I put on a scarf, a bonnet, and a do-rag. I put the do-rag on first, then I put the scarf on, then I put the bonnet on, then I put another scarf on like, to tie it. But, like, I don't have two scarves anymore, so I can't use the last scarf to tie it because one of my scarves ripped. But I'm not investing in these some more scarves. What made you get dressed? I was insecure about my natural hair. 
what's your favorite thing about having locks i feel like the favorite my favorite thing about having locks is that my hair can grow faster it grows super fast and i just find locks so pretty like especially when they die locks are the best thing that they're so cute when they're dyed what is your hair routine for now um to be honest i don't have a hair routine at the moment but i'll be up with one very shortly do you feel like it was helpful Do you feel like it has really helped your hair grow a lot or has your hair stayed the same? My hair has grown a lot. Um, as y'all can tell from this picture to this picture, my hair has grown a lot. Hardest part about having locks. I feel like the hardest part about having locks is the messy look. I do not like the messy look at all. I do not like the messy look. And if y'all don't know what the messy look is, this is the messy look. Like I like my hair retwisted, fresh, and also my also another thing i don't like about another hard part about having locks is sometimes your lock get too thin and it pop off so you have to combine two locks together when did you first start seeing growth i started seeing growth after two or three months are there any lock stages if so how many is it and how many is it yeah there are lock stages let me go google these lock stages right quick because i forgot them it's baby teenager adult and elderly stage or Baby stage is known as the pre-locking phase. Teen is known as the budding stage. Adult is known as the shooting phase. And elderly is known as the contracting phase. But personally me, I don't think I'm like pre-locking stage, but I'm not quite at the budding phase yet, if that makes sense. First, hey, how long do you plan on having them? Is it worth having them? I plan on having my locks for like maybe a year, maybe two years, maybe three years, maybe five years, maybe six. Because people with six years, their locks are so long and pretty. Like, I don't know. Is it worth having locks? OMG, it is worth having locks so much. I love them. When your locks come around, was you patient or was you all over the place? I was not patient at all. I was all over the place. I was thinking about, like, combing them bad boys out. Like, and that's another reason why I wore wigs and braids over it the first time. Because, like, no. Do you like the process? No, I don't like the process. Well, now I do. What is the best method to use for your locks? Like, I don't know what the best method is because I don't do locks. I just got locks. But I uh, see a lot of people do like the little comb method. <laughs>
but I can't be slacking so I gotta get content out to you guys especially that I record every other week and I record like two videos or maybe four just depending on my mood but if you enjoyed this video give this video a big thumbs up if this video was boring to you still like it because you're lame because you said it was boring but you're lame and you a hater if you dislike this video also make sure guys comment down below other videos y'all guys want to see me do or comment down below other questions you have about my locks in general and i will answer it to you guys also make sure y'all guys share this video hit that subscribe button because at the moment i'm recording this video i need two more subscribers we are at 298. I need two more subscribers to hit 300. And, like, when I get a good bit past 300, I will be doing a giveaway. Probably a $10 cash app giveaway. Y'all guys can actually enter the giveaway now. And then when I hit, like, 305, I will be doing a giveaway. And I'm only doing a giveaway at 300 subscribers because I took forever to hit it. And um, I feel like, personally, me, I should be at 500 subscribers by now. But yeah, subscribe to this video and hit that post notification bell. And peace. Bad, 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 bad.